Hello and welcome to teaching bio to look at inorganic ions and pH. So, we need to understand what an ion is, and an ion is a charged particle that can either be positive or negative as a result of losing electrons or gaining electrons. So if an atom loses electrons, it becomes a positive ion, and if an atom gains electrons, it becomes a negative ion. Now, inorganic ions are ions that don't contain any carbon, and if they did, they would be organic. So there's no carbon in inorganic ions, and these ions are essential for our cells and our body fluids and making us who we are and all the different reactions that take place with them inside of our body. They are located in the cytoplasm and a lot of students forget that they are in the cytoplasm. So pause the video and copy down um, this table. Now the table shows each of the different types of ions that you'll come across AS level biology. Now the way this sort of topic is designed is that it links to lots of other topics and it's quite subtle but you do need to know that for example the hydrogen ions, the lower pH, um, they won't make an acid, hydroxide ions, again alkali they would increase pH etc etc etc. Okay so moving on. Now in exam questions if they ask you to talk about an ion you can't put Na for sodium ions because Na is just sodium. Now you have to put Na plus or actually write sodium ion. So if you you might forget what the charge total is on the iron ion in hemoglobin, it's Fe2 plus. So in order to prevent risking the marker putting Fe3 plus back to them, which also exists, just putting iron ion will be fine. Or let's say you forget what the charge of phosphate is. Again, just putting phosphate ion will get you the mark, but you can't just put phosphate it has to be the ion okay and it's the charges that make them the ions and then obviously you can't put na and capital a for sodium okay so now we're going to look at ph calculations how to do them so ph equals minus log to the base 10 of h plus now minus log 10 is preset on most of your calculators but please make sure that you have base 10 on your calculator now this H plus part in brackets refers to concentration. The brackets symbolise concentration and H plus symbolises the acidity of a substance. And now generally when you get, uh, in biology, you do this in chemistry as well, but here just ignore any negative pHs. So um, here's an example question for you to try. Lewis's stomach was recently cut open and a sample of hydrochloric acid was taken for some unknown reason. The H plus concentration was 0 0.008 moles per centimeter cubed. That's the unit for concentration. What was the pH? So all I do is I do pH equals minus log H plus. So minus log to the base 10 0 0.008 in order to get 2.096. Which on our scale makes sense because it's around here and that's um, and obviously the acid pH and hydrochloric acid is an acid and therefore the pH can be rounded up to 2.10. Okay, now we can equally find out the concentration if we have the pH using the anti-lock equation. And here we do 10 to the negative power of the pH to find out the concentration of H plus ions. So here's a, another example question we should try. So Lewis system was just called for some unknown reason, sample of H carbon acid was taken for some unknown reason. The pH was 2.10, what was the H plus concentration? So here we have the pH, so we need to sub this into this equation here. So therefore H plus would equal 10 to the power of minus, the minus is important, 2.10, and that will give you 0 0.079, which can add us to 0 0.08. And that's the, same answer, that's the same information that we got in the previous question, so therefore this works. Now pause the video and have a go at the following summary questions, the answers will follow. Okay, the answers are... Remember, it's the cytoplasm where they formed. Okay, so pause the video and have a go at the exam question. The mark scheme will follow. Here's the mark scheme. So see here, there it says allow ion to be named in words, but not as element. E.g. iron, ion, but not iron. So that was what I was trying to say before. And here, look, it's Fe2 plus PO4, 3 minus. You have to get those charges correct. Okay, moving on. Now here's a challenge question for you to try. Two urine samples were collected. The first had a 0.05 concentration of H plus ions. 
The second sample had a 0.01 concentration of OH minus ions. The total concentration of the ions in the second urine sample equaled 0.025 moles per decimeters cubed. Remember, that's the unit for concentration. What is the simplest whole number ratio of the pH between the two urine samples? Assume both urine samples contain only H plus and OH minus ions. So pause the video and have a go. Okay, so if you got a ratio of 5 to 7, you'd get 3 marks for that. Or if you got 10 to 14, that'd be 2 marks. Um, but if you got 1 to 2, that'd be 1 mark. Okay, so how was this done? So we needed to figure out the pHs of each of these two and get them into a ratio. So we could work out the pH of urine sample 1 by using our equation pH equals minus log to the base 10. So pH equals minus log 0.05 in order to get 1.30. Now the pH of urine sample 2 was a little bit harder because we got the OH minus ions rather than the H plus ions, but we know that the total concentration of ions is 0.025. So if we take that away from that, we get the H plus ion concentration as 0.015. And then we can use that and put that into the pH equation, pH equals minus log to the base 10 H plus in order to get 1.82. And then the ratio is 1.30 to the ratio 1.82. Now, some of you may just go on to round that up to 1 to 2, and that'll give you 1 mark. However, if you want to get the accurate ratio, what you do is you divide these ratios. Now, whenever you get a ratio question, you always do this, but divide it by the smallest ratio there. So here, the smallest one is 1.30, so divide that by 1.30 and divide that by 1.30. Here you get a ratio of 1 to 1.4. Now, generally, exams want you to give it to a ratio of 1. So, you would probably get that mark but because the question says the simplest whole number ratio this time what you need to do is you need to times up the answer so by timesing it by five we get our simplest whole number ratio five to the ratio of seven if you don't understand how i did this or if you did it a different way um please leave a comment below and i'll get back to you okay so thank you for watching and please subscribe